Good evening. We start with breaking news. The verdict is in for the driver who hit and killed a bicyclist after veering off Paseo del Norte. It was Miranda Pacheco's second trial, and once again, the family of the dead bicyclist is very disappointed. A half hour ago, the jury convicted her of careless driving, a far cry from the vehicular homicide charge she also faced. Let's get to Scott Daniels. He was in the courtroom. Scott. Dick, the jury had options. Vehicular homicide, which carries up to six years behind bars in prison, down to careless driving, which carries just up to 90 days behind bars in jail. They went with the lighter option. We have file video of earlier in the trial today. Miranda Pacheco was crying when she was taken immediately to jail on a no bond hold. In March of 2010, police and witnesses said Pacheco was weaving in and out of traffic and speeding when she lost control of her car on Paseo del Norte near Rio Grande, veered off the road and killed a cyclist on a bike path. 56-year-old David Anderson was killed as his wife looked on. Pacheco has always claimed it was an unavoidable accident that someone had cut her off. Now, Pacheco's first trial ended in a mistrial with a hung jury. The family of Anderson's family was very disappointed after that. This time around, they're still disappointed, but they're relieved that this is finally over. Back to you. All right, Scott, again, we'll have much more on this tonight at 10. Miranda Pacheco faces up to 90 days in jail. She will be sentenced Tuesday, and of course, we will be there for that.